Have you ever wondered why more single women own homes in the United States than single men? It's an intriguing question, isn't it? And the answer might surprise you. According to the US Census Bureau data, single women own a substantial majority of homes compared to their male counterparts. Specifically, 58% of nearly 35.2 million homes owned by unmarried Americans are held by single women. That's right, more than half of the homes owned by single individuals are owned by women. Now you might be asking, has it always been this way? Well, it's interesting because the data shows a dynamic trend. Rewind back to the year 2000, and you'll find that single women owned 64% of homes, while single men owned 36%. So, while single women still own a higher percentage of homes, the gap between male and female home ownership is, in fact, narrowing. This trend is a fascinating one and raises a host of questions. For instance, what might be driving this shift? And how does it reflect broader societal and economic trends? After all, despite earning on average less than what men earn, single women own 2.71 million more homes than single men, a gap that has slightly increased since 2021, the gender gap in home ownership is indeed narrowing, but what could be the reasons behind this trend? Let's delve deeper into these questions in the next few scenes. Despite earning less on average than men, single women own more homes. How is this possible? Now that's a question worth exploring. Let's consider the numbers. Single women on average have lower median incomes and slightly less wealth compared to single men. This is a reality that cannot be overlooked. Yet despite this economic disadvantage, single women are still making strides in home ownership. How is that? Well, one reason could be that women are more likely to prioritize home ownership as a form of financial security. It's not just about having a roof over their heads. Owning a home is seen as a solid investment, a tangible asset that can provide a sense of stability and independence. In addition, it's important to note that the barriers to home ownership have been lowered over the years. A 20% down payment, once seen as a standard, is no longer always required. There are various types of loans available, offering more flexibility and options for potential homeowners. And let's not forget about the possible support from family or private savings that can help bridge the gap. However, it's also worth mentioning that single women are not a monolithic group. Their financial situations can vary widely. Some single women may be high earners with plenty of disposable income, while others may be struggling to make ends meet. Therefore, it's essential to look beyond averages and understand the diversity within this group. Lastly, it's critical to remember that buying a home is not just a financial decision, it's also an emotional one. The desire for a place to call one's own, the pride of home ownership, the dream of building a life in a space that belongs to you, these are powerful motivators that can drive people to overcome economic hurdles. Economic factors don't fully explain the trend, so let's explore some demographic considerations. Did you know that the size of the single women population, especially among older Americans, plays a large role in this trend? That's right, the demographic considerations are a key factor in this home ownership landscape. Let's delve a little deeper into this. Among those who head households and are age 65 or older, there are about 6 million more women than men. This considerable difference in numbers is a significant driver behind the trend of higher home ownership among single women. It's not just about economic power or financial savvy, it's also about sheer numbers. But what does this mean in the larger context? Well, it signifies that the social fabric of our communities is transforming. More women are living independently, and they're doing so well into their golden years. They're not only surviving, they're thriving. And one way they're demonstrating this is by owning their homes. This shift in demographics is not just about numbers though. It's about the changing roles and lifestyles of women in society. It's about women's empowerment, financial independence, and the ability to make significant life choices. However, it's not all rosy. Despite the larger number of single women, especially among older Americans, it's important to bear in mind that in most age groups, Households headed by single women have lower home ownership rates compared to those headed by single men. This discrepancy aligns with economic considerations, as single women typically have lower median income and slightly less wealth than single men. But regardless of these challenges, the fact remains that single women, particularly older ones, are a force to be reckoned with in the home ownership arena. They've carved out a space for themselves in a domain traditionally dominated by couples and men. So while the demographics play a huge role in this trend, it's not the only piece of the puzzle.
There are other factors at play here, which we'll explore in the next segment. These demographic factors play a significant role, but there's more to the story. The gender gap in homeownership is narrowing over time, but why is this the case? Let's delve into the forces shaping this trend. The first factor to consider is the shifting demographics. Over the past two decades, there has been a decrease in the proportion of single women among older household heads. And this is pivotal because single women, particularly older ones, have historically been the primary drivers of single home ownership. But what's behind this demographic shift? A key element is changes in life expectancy. Women generally outlive men, which has contributed to the larger numbers of single women homeowners, especially among the older population. This longevity advantage, however, is not as pronounced as it once was. Men's life expectancy has been gradually catching up, leading to a more balanced gender ratio among older Americans. As a result, the home ownership landscape is becoming more evenly distributed between single men and women. Another aspect to consider is the changing economic dynamics. Despite single women typically earning less and having slightly less wealth than their male counterparts, they have historically owned more homes. However, we're seeing a shift in this area too. As economic opportunities for women expand and income disparities begin to close, single women's capacity to purchase homes may be influenced. This, combined with the demographic changes, helps explain the narrowing gap in home ownership. Lastly, it's important to recognize that societal norms and attitudes towards home ownership are also evolving. The traditional view that men are the primary homeowners is becoming outdated. More and more single women and men are seen as equally capable homeowners, further reducing the gender gap in this realm. As we can see, a variety of factors contribute to the narrowing gap in home ownership between single men and women. We're witnessing a shift in the tides of home ownership, a change that reflects our evolving society. With each passing year, the gap continues to close, painting an increasingly balanced picture of single home ownership in the United States. I would like to take a moment to express my gratitude towards our supporters, who actively engage by commenting and sharing our content. I also want to mention GetAIKeys.com, a platform that offers a subscription model to help people profit from AI. Their subscribers can access the portal to learn about creating income through AI-infused systems and services such as Opus Clips, a tool for making short videos similar to the one you are watching now. Additionally, subscribers can get assistance with their queries related to AI and business. So, what can we deduce from this intriguing trend of single women home ownership? We've covered a lot of ground today, and there are several key points to keep in mind. The statistics we've discussed reveal a fascinating trend. Despite the economic disparities that exist, single women in the United States own a significant portion of the homes. Specifically, they own 58% of the almost 35.2 million homes owned by unmarried Americans. This trend, however, reflects a narrowing gap from the year 2000, when single women owned 64% of the homes compared to single men's 36%. Despite earning on average less than men, single women own 2.71 million more homes than single men, a gap that has slightly increased since 2021. This trend is influenced by several factors including demographic and economic considerations. The larger numbers of single women, particularly among older Americans, contribute to their higher home ownership rate. However, in most age groups, households headed by single women have lower home ownership rates compared to those headed by single men, which aligns with economic considerations. Understanding these trends and their implications is crucial for society as a whole. It sheds light on the resilience and determination of single women in the face of economic disparities. The narrowing of the gender gap in home ownership among single Americans is a testament to the progress we've made towards equality, but it also underscores the work that still needs to be done. Single women continue to lead in home ownership, a testament to their resilience and determination. As we move forward, it will be interesting to see how this trend evolves. Comment below and let me know if you agree.